Who am I? Diagnosis. Amnesia. Come in, action command. I've located the old military base at Cherbourg. As long as I'm in France, I thought I'd pick up some breakfast for the rest of the team after the mission. Over. Negative, action one. The team can eat the freeze-dried oatmeal at the station. You're all heart, action command. Now, how about briefing me on the mission here? Top secret, action one. Cherbourg was an Allied base in World War II. Troops stored unused bombs in its lake. Unfortunately, X has just found out and plans to steal them. He's on his way as we speak. I've got the nitro charges set to blow for my wrist comp. I'm going in. Action one. Make sure you set the charges deep enough to reach the bombs. They were stored at 30 nautical feet. You must disable those bombs. We attack when he gets out, before he detonates the bombs. Safely detonated, scum and stunned. I'm out of here. After I pick up some pain de chocolat, some cafe au lait. Oh, fine. Just get me something non fattening while you're at it. We're just hours away from the maiden voyage of Aster One, the first totally automated, privately funded space shuttle. Aboard the computer-controlled craft will be two of the richest men in the world, Fuji Akira and Gunter Schmidt, founders of Astra Air, the first commercial airline to go to space. Thank you. We are proud to be the first passengers on Astra One. We have worked towards this dream for many years. Now everyone can go to space. Thank you. Join us in the morning for uninterrupted live coverage of the pioneering launch of Astra One. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I want that flight computer modified by midnight. Consider it as good as done.
I signed up to fight Dr. X, not fix windows. Like they say, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Yeah? Whoever they are, I'd like to see them out here in the middle of meteorite season. But, Nark, how often do we have guests at Station Extreme? And overnight guests at that? Once is too much, if you ask me. Ah! Meteorite hit! I'm losing air! Oh! Good as new. Whoa, thanks, Ace. Now you know why I hate repairing windows. Tell you what, Nuck, I hate to cook, you like to eat. So I'll do the rest of the windows if you take the kitchen patrol. You got a deal, Natalie. Launch time, team. I'm patching you directly into the satellite feed. Everyone, come! The shuttle is taking off. Hurry! We are moments away from the launch of the first totally automated computer-controlled space shuttle. Bad idea, that. Shuttle needs a pilot, not a mob of microchips. Don't tell me you're afraid you'll be replaced by a computer. Three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Astro One is up and away. Next stop, outer space. Correction. Next stop, my Swiss bank account. Astro One has reached orbital velocity. The launch is a success. Nothing can stop her now. <laughs> oh, yeah? Wanna bet? Gangrene, activate command pulse transmitter. Vector alignment is complete. Transmit command pulse now! Everything is under control. My control, that is. Especially you. <laughs> How did this happen? Sabotage. Treachery. Action alert! Action alert! Dr. X has seized control of Astro One. I'm patching you in. So, Mr. Akira, Mr. Schmidt, tell me, how much is your life worth? Everything you own, perhaps? We will not give in. We'll see how defiant you are after a few hours without heat. You will pay my ransom, all you rotten space. I command Astro One now, and no one, not even Action Man, can stop me. I know you're watching, Action Man. I'm warning you, do not interfere. If you do, the consequences shall be upon your head. We'll see about that. Come on, team. It's time to suit up and get extreme. Foolproof space shuttle will become a tomb unless we give everything to Dr. X. Maybe we will not have to. Look, it's Action Man. missile. We should do this more often. It's like taking candy from a baby. Once I've reprogrammed the guidance computer, if Schmidt and Akira don't want to play ball, or Action Man gets involved... Then we'll nuke them. The onboard computer is not responding at all, and there's no way we can get into the shuttle without it. We'll cut through the airlock. 
told you a computer-controlled space shuttle was a bad idea. I hate to say it, but you're right. How's their air supply? According to my calculations, the shuttle has two hours of oxygen left. Meteorite hit! The automatic sealing systems aren't working because the computer's down. Hurry, Action Man, hurry! If Astro One keeps losing air at this rate, the oxygen reserves will be exhausted in less than a minute. Roger, Action Four. I'm on it. It's a long shot, but I'll try to seal the leak with metallic tape. No, bring the laser torch just in case. Natalie, stand by. One laser torch coming up, Ace. The hole's too big to tape. There's too much air pressure. Stand back, Ace. Let Uncle Nuck handle this. Action Man, Mr. Schmidt and Mr. Akira are running out of air. Natalie, we need an oxygen line over here now. Coming right up. Keep it hot, but don't sit up the hole yet. Huh? No disrespect intended, but have you lost your marbles, Ace? Weld the nozzle into the hole. Got it. <laughs> Why, gentlemen, are you running out of air already? Not anymore. You have no further hold over us. Action Man will save us now. Action Man! I want him to stay out of this! Now all of you will suffer my wrath. You have 20 minutes to reconsider. What is he talking about? The fools! I'm done. Don't worry. They'll come running once they've got a missile ripping towards them. Then let's do it. I'd like to see Action Man top this. <laughs> Dr. X just launched a nuclear missile, and Astro-1 is the target. But if it misses, it will fall back to Earth! And land on the city of Berlin! What about early detonation? That's a big negative, Action-1. The fallout would contaminate half of Europe. Dr. X isn't fooling around this time. There must be something we can do. Well, we could try to get into its guidance system and make it splash down in the North Atlantic. Or we could make a deal with Dr. X to change the flight plan from the missile base's computer. I can stop him, but I need time. You stall him. Nug, can you rig a line strong enough for Jet Extreme to tow this baby out of danger? Easy. Nat, I want you and Nuck to haul Astro-1 back to Station Extreme. Jacques, can you guide me to X's launch site? But of course. What are you going to be doing? Making X change his mind. I don't know about this plan of yours, AM. You're taking a big gamble here. Memory trace? Yeah, it seems I was a bit of a gambler in my youth. But I'm gambling for freedom now. We have power! We have light! We have heat! Now don't get cocky, gentlemen! According to my calculations, you will be incinerated by my nuclear warhead missile long before you have a chance to enjoy being warm again. Maybe you should reconsider your rather hasty decision to defy me, eh? Good luck! Ditto, AM. Okay, Nat, start your engines. We'll see if she holds. <laughs> so, Action Man thinks he's going to tow you out of the way. My missile will put a stop to that. So far, so good.
You're on course and on time, Action Man. What's your external heat level? 103 degrees centigrade and climbing. If it weren't for my spacesuit, I'd be toast. What's your internal suit level? 35 degrees and climbing. Ah, like Paris in the summer. Not much longer, Action Man, I promise. Just keep her on target. It's a lock. Okay, get ready, set, eject! Ah! Run! Ah! What was that? Well, don't you sit there! Find out! What's going on out? You? Yes, me. Now, are you gonna leave quietly or do I have to throw you out? Why, you insolent, interfering! Uh uh, play fair. I'll show you fair. Whoa! I'm waiting. of you. Now maybe I can get some privacy around here. Action 4, this is Action 1. Mission accomplished. Ready to reprogram missile flight computer. I helped Action Man reprogram the missile's flight path so it would splash down in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But the data I fed to Gangrene and X made it seem like the missile was headed straight for their headquarters. You should have seen them run. <laughs> you are very clever, young man. <laughs> That's an understatement. So, tell me, Miss Poole, what's for dinner? You'll have to ask Sergeant Nuck. He's the chef around here. Remember, Sarge? Load action memory file. Loading. Activate virtual memory scan. Wow, I can't believe this is me. Talk about life in the fast lane. Maybe that's why I like cars so much. My mind may have forgotten but my body remembers the exhilaration of speed. I must have wasted a lot of money, because here I am gambling it away as fast as I can. So what happened to the serious student who spent every waking moment in the library, cramming his head full of facts, most of which I no longer remember? Insufficient data. That was a rhetorical question, Vira. In other words, I didn't expect an answer. But I won't stop asking. Not until I have all the answers. That's one bet that's a sure thing. Save file and exit. Riding a bike is a great way to get around and it's a lot of fun. But it's really important to stay safe. First, always ask your mom or dad for permission to ride. Second, with their help, pick a safe place to ride away from cars and walking people. Next, always wear a helmet. If you're in an accident, a helmet can prevent brain damage and save your life. Besides, I think they look high-tech and very cool. Don't forget to signal before you turn, and always hold on to both handlebars with both hands. Last, when you're on your bike, stay alert and watchful. Be like me, ready for any kind of action. Thank you.